Okay, here are our two lines, x plus y equals negative 4, and then negative 2x minus 2y equals 8. So again, before we do this, what do we have to do? Put it in slope-intercept form. So let's move that x over by doing the opposite again. And that's going to give me y is equal to negative 1x minus 4, okay? Draw my little circle around there so that you can see that's the end of that one. Now let's get the other one by itself. We have negative 2x. Let's add that 2x to the other side so that we can move that on over there and get negative 2y is equal to positive 2x plus 8. And then we're going to divide everything by negative 2 because you have to get the y by itself. So divide by negative 2 across the board there. And that's going to give you y is equal to a negative divided by a positive is a negative, so that's negative 1x, and that's negative 4, and there's that equation. Now I want you to look at them real quick before we go and graph them. y equals negative 1x plus 4, line 1. y equals negative 1x minus 4, line 2. They're the exact same line. So when I go to graph this, if I graph the top one first, I go to negative 4 and stick my point right here. My slope is negative 1, so that means count down 1 and over 1. And you know, again, you could do this infinite number of times, okay, because it's a line. And if you want to make it super straight, get a ruler. Okay, there's one line. So when I go down here to graph this line, it's the same line. So watch what happens. I start at negative 4. My slope is negative 1, so I count down 1 and over 1. Oh my goodness, what am I doing? I'm drawing on top of the line that I just drew. That's why I say that if they are the same exact line, they are dependent. And if they are dependent, they are the same line, which means they have infinite solutions. I cannot spell. Knit solutions. Now, what is the sign for infinite solutions? I don't know if you've ever seen it before, but it looks like this, like a sideways 8. That's called an infinity symbol. So they have an infinite number of solutions, okay? Something else that you might see, you might see these words, all reals. That word right there, all reals, means that every number that one line has, the other line has. If this ordered pair falls for that line, it falls for the other line too. That's what infinite means, an infinite number of ordered pairs that they have in common, okay? Not just one. So that's all I have to say. You have one example where they intersect and you have a solution. One example where they're parallel lines so they have no solution. This is your example of dependent where they have an infinite number of solutions. Those are the only three types of answers that you could possibly get, okay? All right. Come back and we're going to solve these systems without graphing next time.